Some set of mothers need to be arrested. I mean it. Some set of mothers, they need to be arrested. You see those mothers that mix antifungi, antibacterial creams, or uh, acne prevention creams, this is a baby body, body cream. They need to be arrested and put in maximum prison. You see those set of mothers too, that we put toothpaste, put eru, put salt, eru is locust beans, put salt, put, put what else, cow dung on their baby's cord just because they wanted to fall off before the day of the naming ceremony. Those mothers, they need to be arrested. Hello, welcome to, my, welcome to my space today. My name is Apoluwa, your Sabi Meat Wife. And today, I will be talking about the care of the baby, the care of the newborn. Newborn are just basic. They all they need is attention and our observation, vigilance, and that is all. So today, I'll be talking about care of the baby. I'll be starting from feeding. As much as possible, breastfeeding is recommended for every baby under the age of six months up to two years, exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life and up to two years of age. And if you're not able to breastfeed, please, please use, when you use bottle, please don't just rinse bottle. Ensure that you wash the bottles and you sterilize them. You can use either the tablet sterilizers or the sterilizing machines. Tablet sterilizer is easy. Or you can even boil the bottles, boil the products, boil the bottles or put hot water in the bottles and let them settle and they are good to go. Those mothers that actually just rinse bottles and throw it away or probably the baby has fed two hours ago and you just rinse the bottle and then make another food. Your seat is on a wavy level in heaven. Another thing is the skin. Please, newborn babies do not need all of this antifungi, antibacteria, and it's all in the may bid to make these babies fair. Babies have beautiful protection on their skin. When babies are born, there's something we call venous caseosa. It is the whitest substance on the baby on their body. It is for protection. In the world today, we don't even clean them anymore. We allow the baby to absorb them because they create a covering on the baby's skin. And they also create something we call the acid mantle. The acid mantle is like a protection on the baby's skin, which prevents their skin from breaking down and also to have skin issues. Now, you now carry the baby and take the baby home. You now start putting disinfectant into their water to bath them. You put the top. You send me that will put. You send me that will put a rishi, 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 rishi. Just to bath this same baby. What you have done when you put the towel in your baby's water, what you have done, because what you want to do is to fight every germs, fight every protection. So once you bath your baby with the detail or with the sandblot or with the any, I don't mean to use any um any product, but if you bath your baby with any disinfectant solution, what you have just done is you have just broken the skin barrier. And then you you've taken away the skin barrier, and then you have also you have also tried to kill the normal flora. That is the normal microorganisms that are there that are like soldiers to protect the baby's skin. You are just succeeded in taking them away. Now you leave the baby's skin vulnerable to infection, and that's why you say that a lot of babies come down with skin issues, come down with a lot of skin issues. So the advice is that use just water to bath for your baby, water and soap definitely, but not with as a septic solution, not a disinfectant solution. Just water is fine. And then babies just need barrier creams, Vaseline, petroleum jelly, very good, and also creams that has got good skin pH. When you are buying any cream, if it's lotion that you are buying for a baby, check the pH. Check that it is for uh, babies. That is the only skin that that is the only product that is good for your baby. Barrier cream I recommend 100%. And what do I mean by barrier cream? The petroleum jelly, such as Vaseline. And Vaseline is sweet, it's suitable. Just put on your baby's body, and that is all your baby needs. And Ori Shea Butter. Shea Butter is also good. It's also a barrier cream. And also, to the cord, down to the cord, the average time for the cord to fall off is in between two days and up to 14 days. My sisters, my brothers, mommies, daddies. Baby's cord can stay up to two weeks and it doesn't necessarily have to fall off before the day of the naming ceremony. I don't know why it has to fall off, but it doesn't have to fall off before the day of the naming ceremony. So please leave this cord alone. Because cord vary in sizes, in thickness. Some cord comes out when you see your baby's cord, it can be very tiny. Those kind of cord will fall off in less than five days, seven days. There are some cord, because they are very thick, 
they won't come off until the like the sixth, seventh, tenth day. And there are some that won't fall off until the fourteenth day. The most important thing to do is to ensure that this cord is kept clean and dry. Keep your baby's cord clean and dry and outside the diaper. Don't put your baby's cord inside the diaper because you risk it to infection. Because when you see when the baby pulls or wheezes and then it comes to touch the cord, it can break down the cord and start causing infection. The cord starts smelling and all of that. So ensure that the cord is clean and dry. And that is all. The cord will fall out at its own pace. The other thing is the diaper rash. If you if you want to prevent your baby from having diaper rash in the first place, you use Good amount of vaccine on baby's bum bum. Put it there generously. This is just to protect the baby's skin and the wee or the baby's skin and the poo poo. You know that when you put um when you put um the vaseline on the uh, when you put the, the petroleum jelly generally when you put petroleum jelly on the baby's bum bum even when the baby's wee baby wees it's going to just stay on top because it will not be able to penetrate into the skin. Same with poo poo. It will just stay on top. You will not be able to penetrate. It is because. Urine and poo can penetrate into the skin in the diaper because of the closeness and all that. That's why the baby skin can break down. You start seeing diaper rashes. And also, use appropriate size of diaper for your baby. <laughs> I know this one. Maybe on day of the naming ceremony, friends brought you size 2 diaper. And your baby is well grown more than size 2. But because you still got a lot, a lot of it, you continue to wear it. Then it, they cause friction in between the baby's growing. In between the baby's lap, they cause friction, and then that's why that's how and that type of diaper rash is start. So the recommendation is use Vaseline, petroleum jelly, barrier cream, or um, what's it called? Um, shea butter on your baby's bum bum. Please don't mix this Vaseline, except the baby now has diaper rash. But if the baby doesn't have diaper rash, just use um barrier cream. But now if baby has diaper rash, you can now use other the other nappy rash creams. But if baby doesn't have nappy rash, just use Vaseline and your baby will be good to go. She, baby will not have, um, baby will not have, um, that parash. And then, and that cause of that parash can also be, um, be, be the nappy. Some babies can react to a particular nappy or the other. So that's why I mentioned in the first instance that vigilance is key. Vigilance is key. Another thing is baby skin. Like I mentioned, baby skin don't have um don't have disinfectants don't have antiseptic solution also you have to be observant of your baby's skin and this takes me to from back a people that had from back a they will add the visitor cream they will add the um, they will add the what kind of cream again skin your new skin skin whatever all this anti-acne cream anti-acne skin product into your baby's cream just to make the baby fair please stop it please stop it babies will retain their colors Please stop it. You are putting the baby at more chances of kidney issues, skin issues, cancer. Just because you want your baby to be fair. A black baby is actually very beautiful. Baby doesn't have to be fair before they are beautiful. So no anti-acne creams. In your baby's cream, use just your, your normal lotions or barrier creams. And they are just, they will do just very well. Now, another thing is appointment of the baby. Please and please, let us stop missing appointments. I know some of us are very good, are very meticulous with our baby's appointment. But there are some, there are some, please. Babies' immunizations are very, very important. They are key to preventing them from having some, some diseases, some, viral, from some viruses, some infections. We have a lot of people outside there with different kind of infections. And they may not tell you, they, you will not know about it. That's why it's, it's good to protect your baby from all sorts of infection by giving them like taking their appointments regularly and giving them and making sure that they get immunized on time 